welcome back to the channel. Today we got a 67 Camaro with worldwide decals. I think I got this one from General Dollar. Bought a bunch of cars for the Malian Raptor. Today we're going to create a game night special custom for the game of trouble. We have decals for it. And we're going to paint it a fresh coat of neon green. I think it's going to look fantastic. And I think we ought to get into it. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to take this sucker apart. I already got it pre-drilled. And uh, just going to pop this base off of here. Have a look at it. Bent one of the wheels taking it apart. It's nice decals on it, but uh, not going to be for what we need. Interior is fresh and clean. We've got some new wheels to put on here. Windshield's in great shape. Brand new, of course, it should be, eh? Keep this all together so we don't lose it. We're going to take this bad boy, stick it in the stripper, drill these posts out, put some screws in there. We're going to use citrus strip, my preferred stripper of choice, no smell, no mess. Let's go dip it into ooze. Okay, we got our trouble car, 67 Camaro, painted neon green for game night. We're going to put some decals on here clear cut it and make it look like a million bucks tell me something does that car look twisted to you ah, I do believe it is hmm don't know I have to check that before we put it back together we got the trouble car done I put the decals on put a coat of clear over it and I think it looks fantastic Here's the roof and the back end. I can't read it. <laughs> Here's the back end says, there's more trouble in the bubble. Trouble, I don't know if you've ever played trouble, but it has a little bubble in the middle with a dice in it that you press down and it pops the dice and whatever it lands on becomes the move that you make you got 427 for the engine now, these were meant for the chevy bel air gasser and um, i cut them to fit where i wanted them to go um i, I would have preferred one a little bigger for the the hood but i didn't you know didn't really have anything and the only place that one would fit would be the roof plus i didn't think it would look appropriate on the hood but, you know, like a nice big game piece would have been good there. Maybe I should have put the yellow back here instead. But the heat, you know, the way he looks, it just, it just looked too good to pass up. So, that's where I put him. Alright, so we're ready to assemble this beauty. So, let's get to it. Alright, there's the car. Here's the base. I found these wheels on another car. It was two different uh, off of two different cars. I think this one's off of Gasser and this one's off of uh, I have no clue <clears throat> but I had it on a Chevy Charger, not Chevy Charger, a Dodge Charger and uh, I put them on here because I thought they would look good. Um, I don't have any more wheels uh, every time I go to order some they're either out or they only have JDM's which you have to, if you like the wheel you have to cut them and make the new axle so <clears throat> and I'm not really an uh, axle tube kind of guy. I don't like axle tubes. There's a lot of mess and muck. Okay, we got the windshield in. The interior. This is pretty simple. And this car, in the last clip, was a little warped. I had to straighten it out a little bit. Still a little warped. I have no clue what happened to it. Maybe I did it when I'm... <clears throat> When I pried, pried the base loose, who knows?
probably don't need as long as screws I have, but that's what I've got. Paul from Diecast Graveyard gave me a link to uh, some shorter screws and some smaller screws that I can use for my old red lines that uh, have skinnier posts. There it is. What do you think? I think it looks fantastic. I was going to paint it Spectra Flame uh, Aqua, and then I changed my mind. I probably could have went with Spectra Flame Green. There it is. The 67 Camaro Game Night Special Trouble. And if you haven't tried Trouble, go out and pick you up one, a game, and give it a try. It's a lot of fun. My mama loved it. We played it all the time as a kid. I remember playing it growing up. I remember playing it as an adult with my mom. It brings back so many memories. I myself own two different games of Trouble, and I highly recommend it. It's loads of fun. If you enjoyed this video, how about leave me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future notifications of great content like this. Y'all have an awesome day.